From the outside, it's still hard to detect any troubling signs in this Big Lake neighborhood. Right on the corner there. Paul Hoagie didn't know much about his neighbors four doors down until he woke up to police and firefighters responding to their home. Hours after that, he found out that a two-year-old and one-year-old lost their lives. And it just rips your heart out, you know? Awful, truly awful. Jeff Bazzelli says his kids are friends with the seven and nine-year-old children who were rescued from the home. Just wonderful kids. Great to have over, great to, great to be around, and our kids truly love them. So I really hope that they're doing well. He says he'd seen their mother and father in the neighborhood, but didn't know them. And much like the exterior of their home, he says he saw no outward signs of trouble. A flood of emotions comes over you when you start thinking about something like that and how somebody could possibly do something like that. Being neighbors, you know, it's, you have a sense of guilt too, you know, that you didn't see this happening earlier. And though the Sherburne County Sheriff believes the father intentionally set the fire, neighbors are still in disbelief. You just can't wrap your arms around that, you know? That's just unthinkable. So instead, they'll wrap their arms around each other. Hug your kids, hug them tight, tell them you love them. That's about all I can say. I know that's what I'm gonna do. One more unanswered question tonight is the mother of those children. Neighbors told us that she did live at the home, but the authorities have not told us whether or not she was there or where she is tonight. Of course, we'll bring you any more information on this case as we get it. Back to you, Julie. All right, thank you, Kent. And stay with CARE 11 this weekend for continuing coverage of these developing stories. And we'll, of course, post any new information we learn online as well.